Hey guys, as promised, I am back. Uh, I don't have an unboxing this time. I have an unenveloping. Is that a thing? It is a word now. Uh, this is from uh, Indie Press Revolution, and I think I know what it is. I am waiting for a review copy of a book. I was hoping it was coming from Japan, or I thought it was coming from Japan. And, yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. So this is the Elephant in the Macaw banner. Uh, the blurb off the back says, Gather your friends, create your characters, and set out together for boundless adventures in colonial Brazil. Confront the legendary creatures of Brazilian folklore. Change history with the roll of the dice. Uh, I had the opportunity over the summer, during the great COVID lockdown, to attend Gen Con Online. And during that, I sat on a panel uh, as an attendee, not as a panel member, uh, with the uh, author of this book, a gentleman by the name of uh, Christopher Kasten Schmidt. He's a, a U.S. born citizen living in Brazil for the last 20 years. He has written a series of fiction novels uh, based on the characters around this theme, this uh, colonial Brazilian theme. And then that has morphed and turned into this role playing game. This is the second edition of it. It is uh, highly prized in Brazil. It is used in the school systems as a way to teach various aspects of Brazilian history that is not part of their standard curriculum, which I thought was quite impressive. So uh, the publisher uh, has sent me a copy. I'm looking forward to digging into this and putting together a review for you guys. Uh, I will try to do a flip through of the book itself here in the near future if I can figure out some camera arrangements. In the meantime, uh, if you want to follow uh, my progress on this and some other projects, uh, follow me on Discord, join our Discord. Uh, if you like what we do on Rolling Boxcars, whether it's these videos, our reviews, uh, please consider becoming a subscriber on Patreon. Uh, link is always on the website or in any of our articles that we, that we publish. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and that is at DM underscore Modoc. Uh, till next time, I think that'll be a few days. I got another package coming later this week. So, uh, till then.